Ignorance is the night of the mind, but a night without moon or star. I slept and dreamt life is beauty. I woke and found life is duty. How to play music may be known at the commencement of the piece. All the parts should sound together as it proceeds. They should be in harmony while several are distinct and following without break, and thus on to the conclusion. Roads were made for journeys, not destinations. First, there must be order and harmony within your own mind, then the sort of a separate to your family, then to the community, and finally to your entire kingdom. Only then can you have peace and harmony. The true gentleman does not preach what he practices till he has practiced what he preaches. A youth, when at home, should be filial and abroad respectful to his elders. He should be earnest and truthful. He should overflow in love to all and cultivate the friendship of the good. When he has time and opportunity, after the performance of these things, he should employ them in polite studies. In a country well governed, poverty is something to be ashamed of. In a country well governed, wealth is something to be ashamed of. Wherever you go, go with all your heart. The superior man does not, even for the space of a single meal, act contrary to virtue. In moments of haste, he cleaves to it. In seasons of danger, he cleaves to it. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Success depends upon previous preparation, and without such preparation there is sure to be failure. He who learns but does not think is lost. He who thinks but does not learn is in great danger. If I am walking with two other men, each of them will serve as my teacher. I will pick out the good points of the one and imitate them, and the bad points of the other and correct them in myself. Without an acquaintance with the rules of propriety, it is impossible for the character to be established. Better a diamond with a fellow than a pebble without. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of ten years, plant trees. If in terms of one hundred years, teach the people. The superior man thinks always of virtue. The common man thinks of comfort. Life is really simple, but we insist on making it complicated. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute. The man who does not ask is a fool for life. The expectations of life depend upon diligence. The mechanic that would perfect his work must first sharpen his tools. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. What you do not wish upon yourself, extend not to others. The superior man is satisfied and composed. The mean man is always full of distress. He with whom neither slander that gradually soaks into the mind, nor statements that startle like a wound in the flesh, are successful may be called intelligent indeed. It is easy to hate and it's difficult to love. This is how the whole scheme of things works. All good things are difficult to achieve, and bad things are very easy to get. Old age, believe me, is a good and pleasant thing. It is true you are gently shouldered off the stage, but then you are given such a comfortable front stall as spectator. Everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. The perfecting of oneself is the fundamental base of all progress and all moral development. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. 
The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor man perfected without trial. The essence of knowledge is having it, to apply it not having it, to confess your ignorance. A man who does not plan long ahead will find trouble right at his door. There are three degrees of filial piety. The highest is being accredited to our parents. The second is not disgracing them. The lowest is being able simply to support them. He who will not economize will have to economize. If the gentleman is not serious, he will not be respected, and his learning will not to be on a firm foundation. He considers loyalty and faithfulness to be fundamental, has no friends who are not like him, and when he has made mistakes, he is not afraid of correcting them. Good people strengthen themselves ceaselessly. Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. When it's obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals, adjust the action steps. To rule a country of a thousand chariots, there must be reverent attention to business and sincerity. Economy in expenditure and love for a man and the employment of the people at the proper seasons. The superior man is distressed by the limitations of his ability. He is not distressed by the fact that men do not recognize the ability that he has. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not sit up. To see what is right and not to do its want of courage or of principle. To be wealthy and honored in an unjust society is a disgrace. You can successfully force people to follow a certain course, but you cannot force them to understand it. Let the states of equilibrium and harmony exist in perfection, and a happy order will prevail throughout heaven and earth, and all things will be nourished and flourish. There is nothing more visible than what is secret, and nothing more manifest than what is minute. Those who cannot forgive others break the bridge over, which they themselves must pass. A youth is to be regarded with respect. How do we know that his future will not be equal to our present? When the multitude detests a man, inquiry is necessary. When the multitude likes a man, inquiry is equally necessary. Base yourself in loyalty and trust. Don't be a companion with those who are not your molecule. When you make a mistake, don't hesitate to correct it. Desire to have things done quickly prevents their being done thoroughly. Our greatest glory is not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall. If we don't know life, how can we know death? To practice fightings under all circumstances constitutes perfect virtue. These five are gravity, generosity of soul, sincerity, earnestness, and kindness. He who speaks without modesty will find it difficult to make his words good. Learn as if you were not reaching your goal and as though you were scared of missing it. One joy dispels a hundred cares. Don't complain about the snow on your neighbor's roof when your own doorstep is unclean. Recompense injury with justice and recompense kindness with kindness. The more man meditates upon good thoughts, the better will be his world and the world at large. When anger rises, Think of the consequences. To be wronged is nothing, unless you continue to remember it. When you see a good person, think of becoming like her. When you see someone not so good, reflect on your own weak points. If a man in the morning hear the right way, he may die in the evening without regret. Education breeds confidence. Confidence breeds hope, hope breeds peace. 
A lack of patience in trifling matters might lead to disruption of great project. I would rather die for speaking out than to live and be silent. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. Without feelings of respect, what is there to distinguish men from beasts? A lion chased me up a tree, and I greatly enjoyed the view from the top. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. Virtue is not left to stand alone. He who practices it will have neighbors. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. To see and listen to wicked is already the beginning of wickedness. To understand yourself is the key to wisdom. He who conquers himself is the mightiest warrior. Study the past if you would divine the future. An oppressive government is more to be feared than a tiger. When you are laboring for others, let it be with the same zeal as if it were for yourself. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Ability will never catch up with the demand for it. Anyone can fight the switch after the lies are on. The journey with a thousand miles begins with one step. By three methods we may learn wisdom. First, by reflection, which is noblest. Second, by imitation, which is the easiest. And third, by experience, which is the bitterest.